By the time this video gets posted, I'll be 29 years old. Where the fuck has the last decade gone? <laughs> I remember my 21st birthday like it was yesterday. Half of my family is from New Zealand, where 21 is sort of a welcome to adulthood kind of party. To which I celebrated with giant inflatable dicks, getting my ass kicked by my mother in beer pong. And in true New Zealand fashion, chugging beer and moonshine out of a giant yardstick while puking. It's called the Yardy, and it's kind of like a New Zealand rite of passage. At this point in my life, I didn't really have any direction. I never went to college, so I was already in the corporate world, working a bunch of jobs I didn't actually really care about. I was just a kid. A kid who had a little bit of money and really liked to party. Truthfully, that's pretty much the perfect representation of my entire 20s. A kid with a bit of money who really liked to party. What I'm most excited for, though, is that I've got one more book left to write for this decade. And 29 gives me the chance to decide the direction of how this next book is going to be written. And while I have no idea how this next decade is going to play out, I've got some plans to head in the direction I'm hoping to. So let's start with number one. Keep knocking off bad habits one at a time. I have a tendency to try and fix or get better at way too many things all at one time. In the past few months, I've given up drinking all forms of nicotine after about a decade of smoking or consuming some form and working out on basically a daily basis in one form or another. The majority of people would try and tackle these one at a time, which is probably the smart thing to do. It's kind of dumb to try and do all of these things at once. I don't know how, but somehow it's worked for me. I think it's all the amount of times I've failed trying to do them. But if I'm gonna continue to try and address my other bad habits, I need to slow down address them one at a time, and put in the effort that's required to make those changes. I'm starting to understand that if I do continue to try and do everything all at once, there's probably a good chance that everything will come crashing down. Number two, enjoy the things you don't really enjoy doing. And also switch out of the super sweaty clothes you were wearing, just to make new ones also super sweaty. <laughs> Today has been an absolute scorcher, so I thought maybe I'd come down to the beach here to finish this one off. Very few people enjoy doing things they don't enjoy doing. Now I know that sentence sounds insane, <laughs> it's because it is, but some people have cracked it. There are certain people out there who are able to find the joy in the mundane, meaningless tasks that we all kind of have to do, or maybe not the mundane and meaningless, maybe they're large things that are a part of their career or work or whatever it may be, there's just people who are able to find the joy in everything. See, I love doing hard shit. I love doing ice baths for 10 minutes, boiling in a sauna for a half hour, or running a marathon with pretty much no training. But those things have a reward at the end. I know I'm gonna feel good. I know I'm gonna get dopamine. So where I struggle, is those mundane tasks, as I mentioned. It's finding joy in the activities that don't give you any sort of a reward in the end. So I think if I focus a bit more on enjoying even the dumbest and most meaningless tasks, I can hopefully get some of that joy back and just overall be a better person. Number three, 
and arguably the biggest change and most important for me is to be more intentional. Now I find this word to be a little bit of a woo-woo word, baloney. I think the reason I never really liked the word intentional was because it actually terrifies me. I've never really been a very intentional person. I played a lot of sports when I was a kid, but never really intended on doing any of them professionally. A lot of my jobs, my only intention was to make money, but I wasn't, I didn't have any intention to try and develop myself career-wise. I, I don't know if these are actually good examples, but the point is, is a lot of the things in my life that I do, I just kind of do them. People ask me, what's your plan? Where are you gonna end up? Where are you going? And my answer has always been, I don't know. I'm just gonna figure it out. And in reality, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Doing things just because you like them or whatever is perfectly fine. But now that I'm intending on planning and working towards a future that I would really love to have, I need to be intentional in what I do, in the choices I make, in the work that I pursue. It seems like it's probably the only way I'm gonna be able to steer the ship in the direction I want it to go. And basically, up until 29, I've never bothered steering the ship much. I just kinda let the ocean take me wherever it wanted to. These volcanic rocks are sharp. Look at how empty this beach is. This is... This is Bali. Everybody talks about how crowded Bali is. Also baloney. I'm only 20 minutes away from the center of Changu, which for those of you who don't know is the very busy tourist area. Anyways, I didn't come out all this way to not go for a swim, so uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.